Let's talk about end-tidal CO2. Now, many people think that end-tidal CO2 is just simply about measuring ventilation. And while it can be used for that reason, there are also other things we can follow, such as cardiac output and the patient's underlying metabolism. But we'll talk about that in another Crit Bits. Today, let's just go over the normal end-tidal CO2 waveform. What we have over here is CO2 and time. This is a normal waveform. Right here at this baseline is the end of inspiration. So we expect the CO2 to be low. And as the person begins to exhale, we have an increase in CO2 over here. This is represented as the dead space and just a little component of alveolar CO2. And as we get to this plateau phase, this is the true alveolar CO2. We get to this peak over here and then we begin inspiration and the CO2 drops back to baseline. This is where we measure our end tidal CO2. For patients who are pregnant or obese or even pediatric patients, is this plateau phase has this little thing called a terminal bump right there. This really is of no significance and is something to observe as a normal variant because later on we'll be discussing some abnormal waveforms and this should not be confused for an abnormal waveform.